Hey guys and gals, my fellow outseers. Hey, today we're at the abandoned Swift Armor meatpacking plant in Fort Worth. I say it's abandoned, it's really like, there's hardly anything left. There's a lot of videos, older videos, that showed a lot of the uh, structure that was still up. We're just gonna go over there, because I, I know it, there's some things left, some buildings, maybe one or two. I just wanna get some video footage of it before it's all gone. We used to come here years ago, uh, Nisi and all my other kids went when they were young, but we, we, you know, we didn't take any videos or anything. But I just wanted to kind of document this before it's all gone. We're, I'm parked over here at the uh, Fort Worth Stockyards, and I'm gonna make my way up here. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but it's gonna be okay. this is where the animals would start they'd come in here on a train and eventually make their way over to the meat packing company you saw the swift part but here's the armor part of the sun these stairs are original this place was built in 1901 and it opened in 1902 but part of it was open in 1901 All right, guys, continuing what we saw a minute ago. This time, this almost looks like a team of uh, mules, but they're horses. Another stagecoach. Okay, this is a lot of the rubble, a lot of the acne bricks there. Get through that fence a little bit so I can show you. There was a lot of buildings here. But we're we're, we're going to get in there, but I obviously can't fit through there, and it's locked. And my days of jumping over fences have long passed. Okay, guys, walking to the front is a lot further than I thought, but I'm, I'm still going, so if I sound out of breath or something, forgive me. I, I hate the way that sounds, but, man, this is a lot of walk. Here's a part of this structure. It's still up, part of it anyway. You can see it through the chain leak, chain leak fence. Let's see if I can do a little going through there. Evil Dead style. Okay, here's another view of some of the structure. It's a different kind of fence here. We're getting close to the entrance, but we're able to see a lot of what, you know, some more of that structure the other side of it. I'm kind of walking on a busy street here. It's just a wall, you know, to a, to, to what was a meatpacking company. They put a lot of extra time and money, resources, for this. This stairway itself, still in good shape, really beautiful. Let's walk up here. Well, here's the gate. It kind of gives you the Willy Wonka feeling, right? But there's no chocolate factory here. This was Tex, Big Tex in the meat factory. Yeah, I'll show you the, uh, the street I'm walking on. It's just a really busy place on the weekend. Here is the entrance. Maybe I could have driven in here, but I didn't want to risk it. But plus, it rained a lot last night. I didn't want to get stuck in the mud or something. Very overgrown. There's one of the buildings that's still intact. Somewhat. It's just wide open. Everything is getting cleared out over there.
It was part of the structure that was knocked down. Yeah, we're going to go to that building, but I just want to look over here real quick. I know it's probably just foundation that's left. Oh, here's definitely a piece of the building. See that piece there? That's old. Heavy duty. Right. Yeah, just more, just more concrete. Pile of bricks over there. There's some trash out here, but I'm surprised there's not more. You know, people usually turn these kind of places into a dumping ground quick. But I'm sure there's always cops having their eye on this. Here's some of the old brick, you know, road here, sidewalk. All right, now we're coming up on this building. Be happy. It's not always easy, is it? A lot of shade over here. Here's some more remains of another building that used to be here. Okay, we're gonna try to make our way through this pile here. Weeds, looks like some railroad ties. Yeah, I can get the railroad tracks. Actually, it looks like tracks too. Oh, almost fell on my ass. All right, let's go in here, guys. Looks like a lot of, probably a lot of homeless people are living here. See some shoes there. A lot of graffiti. That's always a staple and this kind of stuff and right here you can tell there was a fire or something because I know part of this place did burn down it's been closed down since 1975 47 years already we are on the east side of the buildings where we're at I guess would be the back of it you can see the second floor up there This was boarded up at one time. That didn't last very long. There's a lot of shopping carts here. Some containers. Yeah, it's all messed up. There's a ladder right there. Fire escape ladder, I guess. I think, uh, I don't think I better try climbing that there. My wife would kill me if she knew I did that. And if she didn't, Nisi would. And the rest of my daughters. Another one of these broken through uh, structures here. More shopping carts. And they even made themselves a little ramp to get in, get in and out of here. There's some more structures out here that looks like maybe a uh, them run feed through or something for the animals before they met their demise. And you see those, you see those buildings up there? 
that's where we uh, that's where we started from guys I told you it was quite a walk guys there's not much more to see here so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and start my journey back over there back to my car watch some of these older videos and you'll see how this thing has progressed how there was so much more till this point there's really nothing but as always guys i really appreciate you guys coming out and seeing with us and we will see you on down the line